to show you something a little bit special. So I've fallen in love with this. Now craftycutter.co.uk have got this on their website and I just think it's fantastic. So this is a adhesive HTV and it allows you to use foil and put it onto the HTV. So not foil HTV, actual foil. So I've got different types of foil today. I've got some fabric foil. So this is fabric and paper foil. And I've also got some paper foil as well. Now I do recommend if you're going to wash the item, you do want to use the fabric use foil. Um, it will just improve the longevity. But if it's just something that you're making and you're putting it onto a piece of fabric, you know, like a cushion or something, and you're not going to really wash it, then you can use different types of foil. But obviously if you wash them, it will reduce the longevity. So we're going to use both of those today. So this is the adhesive HTV and it's got a shiny side and it's also got a matte side. And you want to work from the shiny side. And you'll know which side to work from because you actually need to peel away this pink surface area. I'm going to show you that in just a second. So if you grab your weeding tool and you just go to a corner and you gently lift, you'll see the pink film starts to lift up. And this shows us that we're working with the correct side. So we've got our mat and we're just going to go in and place it onto our mat and then we're just going to peel away the top pink film. Now I like to keep this because if I've got any pieces that I don't use, so any excess, I can just place this pink film back over and it will allow me to reuse my excess pieces. So once it's all on the mat, we can put it into our machine. Now because it is a HTV adhesive, we do need to remember to mirror in our design program. That's really important that you do that. So we can now place it into our machine and I have my setting placed on iron-on and this works really well. finished cutting out and I'm just going to remove it from my mat Now I'm going to keep it facing the way it is so when I put it back down on my block here I'm going to have it as if it's still on my mat I don't want to turn it over or do anything like that with it so I've already gone in and sectioned it into the pieces I want and I'm just going to go in and then remove my excess HTV, just like you would with normal HTV. So I'm just going to go through and weed this away. So you can see that this is now all weeded out. So we're going to go and get our bag that we're going to use it with today. So I'm going to use an iron today and you want it set to the nylon setting but you also as always want to ensure that your steam setting is switched off and I'm just going to go in and preheat my area and this just removes any moisture from your fabric. So you can then go in and place your HTV adhesive down. And I'm just going to go in and place a heat protective sheet over my HTV adhesive. And then I'm going to go in with my iron and just apply an even amount of pressure across the design for about seven seconds in each area. You then want to immediately pull back your HTV adhesive carrier sheet. And you want to do this while it's hot. We can then go in and place our foil straight over. Now, as I say, this is a fabric and paper foil. So we're going to place that over the HTV adhesive and then we can put our heat protective sheet back over. And again, we're going to go back in with our iron and we want to apply an even amount of pressure over the whole design for about seven seconds again. 
We can then go in and peel back our foil. And you can see we've got bits of excess, but we can remove those in a minute once it's all cooled down. So just like with normal HTV, we are going to want to go in again and just put some extra heat on there just to ensure that it is fully adhered to our surface and I like to do it for about 10 seconds on each area. So you can see around our panda we've got some excess around the eyes, the ears, the horn. So just take a nice fluffy brush and just very gently start brushing away and this will remove any excess foil that's not adhered to the HTV. You just want to be nice and gentle with it.